a light-breaking story. You know, the Turtle Bay Cafe has gone through a myriad of people trying to find someone to run their cafe. Joe and Joni, Cat and Neo, are now going to be running the cafe at Turtle Bay. But, just in case things don't work out with Joe and Joni, we have another couple who has offered up their services and think that it would be swell to put their hat in the ring. Let's hear from them. This is Gladys Godawful. I'm here with Bob and Sal. Now, I hear you're interested in possibly running the cafe at Turtle Bay. What would you do different? Well, well to start with, um, we are used to entertaining a lot of people, and we serve a lot of cabbage. Now, also, have you had any experience running a restaurant? Well, that'd be a big no there. Uh, but, you know, we do have a lot of ideas, and we're really uh, excited. You know, and I have a big table at home, and sometimes we have four or five people at once over for dinner. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a restaurant right there. We yeah. can do it. Got I put those budget gourmet meals in the microwave. It's great. Yeah, yeah. But another idea we had there, Gladys, is maybe we could have an arcade. And if you had these shiny quarters, we could use there at the arcade. It'd be awesome. Really great, wouldn't it? Yeah, let, let's show them how we can bounce this off your super nice uh, buttocks. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, that great. is a nice buttocks. Oh, all that cabbage. That is impressive. Well, Bob and Sal seem to be very qualified. Yeah. I think they'll give the Cataneos a run for their money. Hey, let's throw our hat in the ring. Yeah, thanks, Glass. We're going to throw our hat in the ring, guys. <laughs> That was good, Paul. I think God, I had a high five. High five. We nailed the interview. This has been Gladys Godawful Reef.